Kami is a really cool origami themed indie puzzle title made by State of Play. The concept of the game is extremely simple, yet highly addictive. Your objective is to simply fold out the Japanese coloured pattern paper and fill up the screen in as few moves as possible to leave one uniform colour. The level gives you the minimum amount of moves that the puzzle can be achieved in and it's displayed on the right hand side of the screen. To change the colour you simply select the coloured paper you want from the bottom of your screen. Then click on any square on the screen that you wish to change to that colour. This will then result in an animation of that particular area being filled. If you complete the level using the least amount of moves, you receive a perfect score. To achieve a passing score really isn't that difficult, however to achieve a perfect score is somewhat more problematic. So if you do wish to achieve the perfect score, you will no doubt become very familiar to that good old reset button. Kami is a relaxing and easy to pick up and play a game. You'll soon find yourself coming back for more to try and get that perfect score time and time again. The colours and sounds of the paper and the animations that occur when the paper grid turns into different colours are simplistic but great. The sounds are really pleasant from the rustling of the paper to the zen like music that goes alongside the puzzles make for a very pleasant experience. Kami is available for PC to which I am playing this game on right now. I picked it up on Steam for around about £2.54 but it's also available for other platforms such as iPhone, iPads, etc. It might not be the most amazing game you have ever played, but it's certainly a great game for those bus or train journeys on your way to work. If you're looking for a solid brain teaser type game, then this might just be the perfect game for you, as the puzzles really do require some thought, and it's quite difficult to get that perfect score, especially on the later levels. There are 45 classic puzzles to complete, they start off fairly simple but become increasingly more difficult as you progress. There are also 18 premium puzzles included, which again vary in difficulty, to make a combined total of 63 puzzles, and for the price I paid, I think that's a pretty good deal. I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I would recommend it to anyone who is a fan of puzzle games. Just pick it up and give it a go, you've got nothing to lose. I will give this a good 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you next time.